pull request can be used as a code review tool for teams working with Git repositories. In this video, we'll walk through the steps required to create a pull request from the Visual Studio Team Foundation plugin. We assume you have checked out a Git project from Visual Studio Online or Team Foundation Server 2015, or you have imported an existing project into Visual Studio Online or Team Foundation Server 2015 using our plugin already. In this video, I have already checked out our team project, DeepSpace. It's a good practice to always work on a topic branch, so let's go ahead and create a local branch. Now IntelliJ automatically switched us to the newly created local branch. Now we are on a branch. Let's go fix the bug. Let's commit this change. In the commit message, we can link this commit to the bug simply by mentioning its ID. Fix the unit test as well. And check it in. Now we are ready to create a pull request. From the VCS menu, select Git, select Create Pull Request. The pull request dialog shows up which branch we are currently working on, and we can select which branch to merge the changes into on the server. Let's merge the change into master branch. We can also specify a title and a description for the pull request. We see a list of files we have changed in this panel. Clicking on any individual file to bring up the disk. We can also see a list of commits we are going to publish in the pull request. Let's go ahead and create this pull request. Now we are pushing all the changes up to the server. And our pull request has been created. Click the link takes us to the created pull request on the server. We see this pull request is associated with bug number five. And we have a gated build building in this pull request. This is how we create a pull request from Visual Studio IntelliJ plugin. Please visit java.visualstudio.com for more details and workthroughs. Thanks for watching.